In this video, we're going to show you how to select documents in MongoDB. So in SQL, we would say select star from a specific table, and this would return all the columns and all the records from that table. In MongoDB, we would say db.collection.find, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. So if I wanted to show all the customers in the customer collection, I'd say db.customer.find. So I've gone ahead and copied this query over to the web server. I'm going to go ahead and run this query. And sure enough, we see all the documents and fields associated with each one of these documents. In SQL, we could also select specific fields rather than all the fields by saying select and then specifying each column that we wanted to select from, and then the name of the table. In MongoDB, we'd say db.collection.find, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then the fields that we want to show, and zero means don't show those fields, and then one means show those fields. Note that the ID field must be explicitly stated to not be included, otherwise it will always be included. All other fields must be explicitly stated if we want to include them. Now, with embedded fields, in the case of book, review, and comment, if I wanted to show the comments or the reviews, I'd have to have a dot. So in this case, I'd do field dot embedded and then one or negative one. So what's different about these embedded fields, it's no longer one or zero, it's one or negative one. So if I wanted to show only names in the customer collection, I'd say db.customer.find and then have the open and closing first set of brackets and then have another set of brackets. And then for the ID, I'm gonna explicitly say don't show this, so ID colon zero and then name colon one because I want to display the name. Now, if I wanted to show the customer's ID, name and state, I would do db.customer.find again. This time I would not have to exclude the ID or even include it because it's automatically going to be displayed. Then I say name colon one and then address.state colon one to be able to display the state. So I've gone ahead and copied these two queries over. I'm gonna go ahead and run the first one. And we see that it is only returning all the names of the customers from the customer collection. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run the second one and we see that it is returning the ID even though I didn't specifically say to include it. And then we're including the name and then in the address, we are only including the state. In SQL, if we wanted to return distinct records, we would say select distinct and then the name of the column from the name of the table. In MongoDB, we'd say db.collection.distinct instead of find and then the name of the field and any filters that would apply. So if I wanted to show all the unique customer states, I would say db.customer.distinct address.state. So I've copied this query over here and I'm going to run it and you can see that these are all the unique states for all the customers that we have in the customer collection. So now I want you to try a couple on your own. I want you to use the person collection and show only the first and last name fields in the person collection and then show only unique last names. The other two are for you to try on your own. So pause this video, try this on your own, and then come back to compare your answer. Okay, so here we're back at the server. So what I'm going to do is show the first and last name. So I'll do db.person.find. And then I want to include the first and last name. So I'll do first colon one and then last colon one. Also, you'll notice that it doesn't say anything about including the ID. So I'll also need to filter out that by saying ID colon zero. So we go ahead and run this query. And sure enough, we have the first and the last name of all of our people returned from the person collection. This next one asks us to show only unique last names. So I'm gonna do db.person.distinct, and then we'll put last here and run this query. And we can see only the unique last names of the people in my person collection. 